Hey guys, it's Chris the Copyright IT Guy here, and today I wanted to make a little video on how to set up your printer and or copier machine to scan to folder, or also known as scan to SMB. So first things first, you want to make sure your copier and or printer is connected to the internet and has an IP address. You can find the IP address of the machine usually by printing out a status page or a configuration page on most different machines. And then secondly, we'll want to access our web browser. You want to type in the IP address that the machine printed out for you. So in our case, ours is already set because I uh, went to this website before just to check to make sure everything works. In this video, our demonstration machine is a Kyocera Ecosis 6526CIDN. And this machine, it's fairly simple. We don't need to use a login name or password to set up our address book, which is where our scans will be going. We go to add and name will be the customers and or your name. And for the sake of the video, I'll use mine. And then we'll need to enter information in this field here, SMB, which is scanning to folder. And before we can do that, let's go to our file explorer and to our local C drive. And here is where we're going to want to create our folder for scanning. Just to keep it simple, we'll name it scans. And make sure you right click on it after you do that. Go to properties, sharing, share with everyone, add, make sure once you add it, you click it to read and write so that everyone has full control of the folder. That way there is no issues. See now our folder is shared. And what I like to do also, so after I do that, I go to properties and I will highlight this and copy so I don't have to type it. Oh, and also make sure to send a shortcut to the desktop so your customer can find it or you. So yeah, let's go back to this field here. So all we need is a host name for this particular machine and then the file path which is scans. So if we put it on the root of the hard drive there is no other um, locations we need to know. And then you will need a local username. If you don't have a local username on your computer you'll have to create a local user which, which will be in the control panel. Go to user accounts and click here where it says add new user to PC settings. Add someone else. Go to I don't have this person's sign in information. Add a user without Microsoft account. And then you would enter the username and password here. Why you have to do this is because usually when you use a Microsoft account, it will be an email address which the machine is not able to use for scanning to SMB. So let's get out of all this. And back to this field here, we'll have to enter our password. And in this particular machine, we can test the connection before we save the settings. So yeah guys, while this is testing, remember I'm always available for remote service or direct service within Florida. I'm located in Southern Florida. So yeah, if you have any questions or concerns or want to know more, you can um, contact me through my, my YouTube account here or on my Facebook page, which I'll put a link here too. So yeah, let's, um, let's, let's test our scanning now. We'll go here to the folder. I'll walk over to the machine. All right, you can hear me pressing the buttons. There we go. It's coming through already. And there it is, our document. I'm not going to open it because it is some personal information. 
You can also scan to your email address, which is another whole beast entirely. And in that case, we need to log into this machine. But um, I'll save that for another video, guys. So I just want to say thanks for watching my video. And if you do need my assistance, I can help you remotely and or locally if you are within the state of Florida. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. And I hope you found this um, helpful. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Oh, man, he